Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. No, As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence as, up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that... This is bullshit! All I'm saying is that he better not do it. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. What a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then it is plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here?
Christ, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, and blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> All right. You go down there, casual-like. You creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Cause it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about, right there. All right, now you got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred—that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worth it. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Okay, now.
down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. A Sabat? They're, uh... Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, a Sabat. Well, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new place. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Ugh. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. You do what you gotta do. Fap, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. <laughs>
There we go. Now take that keycard and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabbat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one. Even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? It's always there. It's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I-I-I... I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> the only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though, he's gonna drain fast. Quite as good, huh? Yeah, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Ugh. Well, give it a try. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. 
building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. All right, go. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pad. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he's probably greener than you. The Sabat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor Sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Now he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. He is a vampire, so be ready. Go get him. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. We better head underground, avoid straight bullets. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. You! Just stay back. Keep your distance. Now who the hell are you? You involved in all this? Cause I'm gonna radio this in and SWAT will be all over this place.
No. Well, I, uh, I left my radio in the Caprice anyway. Yeah, okay. All right. This way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. Sure, what's going on? Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Just keep it down. Stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you.
gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern-day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Well... Yeah, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I gotta make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck.
Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with me on the first thing in the morning. Well, looks like the board be here. some form of giant octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is washed in some form of giant... Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? The taxpayers are certainly not getting their money's worth here. <laughs> Those mothers ripped me off. Dying here. Oh. Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. What? No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff... I had to crawl to my car, 
call my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they ain't got the money, they got the astrolite. Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could... Oh, <laughs> Something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Ah, uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Hey, honey, looking for a date? I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind, you wouldn't understand. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Be my guest. But you'd be the first. Most of the time, you types just run us off. Or in the case of some of the long faces we got gathered around here, killers on sight. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? And we seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the lead. You tell me. Clan. <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's... Well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. 
That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And she tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Help you. You just made my night, asshole. Hey, hold it.
Being. No, no, you are going to China. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You're gonna have to move along now. Hey, honey, looking for a date? For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. Any company? How's it going, girl? Oh, man, wait! Say that again! Oh, man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? Come on, you are too! Oh, man. Don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just wanna talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell, I... Oh, man, this is great! And then I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man! 
I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago, when this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I'd better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Just back off. Sure. Please, nice wait out, your huh? turn and you'll be seen. Did you hear me? Take a seat. The doctor will get to you when he can. Security! Security! Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Uh, hey, hey, uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... All right, here's what we got today.
You next up for the needle? Hmm? Huh? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So... What'll it be? If you have to ask... Huh? Huh. Five? Uh, uh, uh. Now serving number 26? Number 20? Uh, uh. Now serving number 26? Number 26? <laughs> 26! Huh? Hey, who's there? Someone there? Someone there? Huh? Hey, who's there? Someone there? Someone there? Huh? Someone there? Huh? Huh? Someone there? Huh?
Who's there? Someone there? Someone there? Huh? Huh? Someone there? Hey! Someone there? Huh? I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Hey, where'd they go? Sir, can you hear me? Someone there? Huh? Hey, who's there? Hey, who's there? Huh? Huh? Hey, who's there? Huh? Huh? Hey, who's there? Hey, hold it! Oh, 
Someone there? Someone there? Huh? Huh? Hey, who's there? Someone there? Hey, who's there? Huh? Hey, who's there? Hey, who's there? Huh? Hey, who's there? Huh? Hey, who's someone there? Someone there? Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. What'll it be, honey? Are you the health inspector? You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay.
need some company? Buy a watch. Those are your ancestors will rise up and reclaim the flesh that they lent their sorry progeny! Hello. I don't care. I need to find him so he can find him. It's 250 grand of my money on the line here. Look, look, I'll talk to you later, okay? Let me know if you hear anything about either. You're listening to the dead of night. The only girl who is... Hey, honey. Hey, baby. What's That's wrong? A good idea.
Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. If there are, I don't know him. But about this Tong. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. <laughs> 